What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a Bricks remix of set 60178, Speed Record Car, from the LEGO City Collection. Alright, for today's Bricks remix we are going to be building a mech using only the pieces from this set. So, let's just get into it. I've already opened this box and I haven't changed any of the pieces, but... Uh, Gonna pour it out. I've already opened up all the bags. That's everything. We don't need the stickers. We don't need the box. We don't need the instructions. All right. We'll just do a quick little organizing of these pieces. All right, guys, so just like with any bricks remix of such a small set, we have to be very wise about how we use our pieces. I've already designed this mech that I'm going to build for you guys, but I just want to show you just the, the small amount of pieces we've got to work with here. But I've got a cool build for you guys, so let's get right into it. All right, we're going to start with the torso of the mech. So... We're going to start with this little chassis piece and these two blue plates. Two 2x3s. Two We're going to stack those two 2x3s two right on top of each other. We're going to find one of these inverted slope 2x2s. Two Put that down there. We'll take our other inverted slope. Put that right there. And we'll take our final a uh, little chassis piece. Put it up right there. All right, now we've got two little one by two bricks with a Technic hole in the middle. Stack those. And then we'll get some of these one by two plates, a blue one. And I believe then we'll cap it off with this little front spoiler piece. Take our two by four black plate, put it on like that. Now we can grab our fin, put it on there. We're going to take two of our remaining 1x2 plates, stack those there, and take this 2x4 curved slope piece and set it there. And now we've kind of got our torso. This is going to be a cockpit kind of thing. Kind of see it's got a shark design to it. Now the reason why I've used these pins, these Technic bricks, is so that we can have a point to connect to for our legs. So we're going to put these one by one bricks. Let's stick the studs in those pinholes. And we've got one last piece. We'll take this. Uh, nose piece, this wedge piece, slip it on the back there, just to give the body a little more shape, a little more contour. And we can set this aside for now. Next we're going to work on a leg. We're going to start with one of these uh, jet body pieces. We'll take our, take one of these L-shaped bricks, put that right in there, and then we'll take a 1x4 plate, snap it on the top like that, we'll take one of these orange 1x2 bricks, 
space right there. Now we've got a two plate high spacing there. And so what we'll do is we will take one of these one by sixes and sit in there. Followed by a one by one round plate. And finally we'll take a one of our, or actually our only one two by three black plate and stick it on there. It's not super pretty right now, but this is the makings of our leg. This is one of our hinges right here, one of our joints. I will take one of our long skinny plates here. It's a one by 10 orange. And this is gonna go on the bottom of this plate. We're actually gonna do it on the fifth stud right there. You kinda see we've got a leg starting to form here. We're gonna take another one of our We're going to take one of our one by one plates and we're going to put that right here, space it by one stud. And then to finish off that joint, we'll take one of these um, brackets, the one by four brackets in orange. And there we've finished off that last joint. Now to give some more shape to that that uh, leg there, we're gonna take these one by two inverted curved slopes and put those right at the tip there. We're also gonna take one of these black two by two slopes. And again, just to add a little bit more contour, we're gonna take this guy and put him right here. To give a little more shape to the leg, a little more thickness. All right, now we're going to continue on with the foot portion. We'll take another one by two blue plate, put that right there. And we'll take one of these one by two slopes with the grill on it. Put that right there. Let's set this aside as we build the foot. For the foot, we're gonna take this two by two round plate. We'll take one of our two by two orange slopes right there. And one of these one by two orange slopes like that. And that is our foot. And then for this, we're just gonna pressure fit this blue plate in between the studs on this white plate. Like that. There's one leg. Right, we'll set that aside as we build our other leg. Now this other leg, it's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, actually. Okay, one thing we'll do is we'll just put this a little bit forward so that it sits a little more tightly in there. All right. Now because we don't have all the right pieces to make it perfectly symmetrical, we're going to do our best. So let's push all this aside. All right, same, we'll start with one of these black uh, engine pieces. We'll also use one of these L-shaped bricks, one by four black plate, just like we did on the other one, one by two orange brick, just like we did on the other one. 
we'll take our remaining one by six black plate, put that there. We'll take our remaining one by one round gray plate and put that on the back there just like we did on our other one. Now this is where it gets a little different because on our first one we used a 2x3 plate to back this but we don't have any more so we'll use this 2x4 black plate and back it with that. Alright, we'll take our remaining 2x2 black slope and put that on there again to add just a little bit of thickness to that leg. It's super skinny. Looking pretty good so far. We'll take our remaining 1x10 uh, orange plate, and again that goes on the fifth stud up right there. And on this one we used a gray round. We don't have any more of those, so we'll use our 1x1 orange plate there, put that there. We'll use our remaining bracket, like that. Our remaining grill piece. And our remaining one by two blue plate. Like that. Put this down. Actually, let's put this little inverted black slope on the tip here. And then we'll build the foot. So just like the other, we're gonna start with this two by two round white plate. And we've got the foot here with these final two orange slopes. And just like before, we're going to pressure fit this blue plate in between the studs and the white plate. Alright, I think, actually, let's see. there. Alright now to attach this because we've got uh, the underside of the plate exposed there we're going to use that to attach to one of these studs. So we're going to go studs in on the legs. And we're using the top stud on that black 1x4 plate to attach it. Like that. And there we have it. This little neck is actually pretty poseable. Because its legs do have those, those hinges in it so it can stand nice and tall. Squat it down. Unfortunately there's not a whole lot of friction on the, the joints so... And you know, it can pop off pretty easily but Pretty fun mech. Now, if you want, you can take these la these remaining uh, white cones and stick them in there. I don't really like that look, so we'll just keep them out. Oops. There, you see the how fragile this, these leg joints are. And every once in a while you gotta kinda pinch the joints to make sure they're holding nice and tight, especially if you're trying to pose it. There you go. Yeah. Unfortunately we had to compromise on these feet. That in there. There we go. All 
All right, there's our Mech Bricks remix of set 60178, the speed record car from the Lego City set. All right, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this mech design. Let me know if you guys were able to build it yourselves. If you guys have this set, I challenge you guys to build your own mech design, come up with your own mech. Uh, maybe post a picture and a link down in the comments below so that we can check out what other people are building with this set. Also, if you like this video, please take the time to press the like and the subscribe button as well as that little bell button in the corner so you can always get notifications when I post new videos. I'm always working on new stuff and I really want to see you guys next time. So until then, have a good one. <laughs>